Hey, howdy, hey y'all. In this edition of What's on the Porch, it's Boxy Charm Base Box time for February. <laughs> That's a long name. I finally got my base box, which is odd because normally I get my base box before I get my premium. But that's okay. This has the same card in it. There's nothing on the back. It's still saying that Epic News is coming. I wonder when it's coming. They need to come on with it. <laughs> Again, there's no information on there about the products. I have put all the products from the box. Yep, I used everything that was in the box. On my face, we're going to go in order that I put the products on. The first product I'm kind of excited about, it is this Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Foundation. This is a weightless foundation. And I am in the shade 210N, which I think ended up being the perfect match. This foundation is just a little liquidy. And I think I may have put just a little bit too much on my face. It's very interesting that it has that doe foot in it to put the foundation on with. But I didn't mind that at all. It actually made it fairly easy to put on. But... I may have put a little bit too much on. And you can see that I am using one of the sponges out of this VC Collection Marble Sponge Duo. And I'm surprised at how much I actually like the sponge. It is super soft. Very nice. I like it. The sponge set is $20. And the... Rare Beauty Foundation is $30 on the Sephora website. This beauty sponge is amazing. It is super soft. I've never used this kind of shape before, so I thought I'd try it. I really like it. And I wasn't sure about the foundation, but now that I have set it and... I powdered and put on my setting spray and bronzer and blush. I actually think it looks pretty good. I don't really see any creasing. Not too shabby. Very nice foundation. I really liked it. Next up we have this Beauty Bakery. Proof is in the Puddin eyeshadow palette. This is a very pretty nine pan palette. It has a magnetic closure on the palette, which is nice. And the back of the palette says, are you all talk or do you get things done? This palette with mattes, shimmers, and more is for the sweethearts who need that final push to finally be who they believe they can be and do the very thing that they were afraid of. If I had taken any step differently than I did, there would be no beauty bakery, but I challenged myself to own my past and my setbacks just as much as I own my future. The proof is in the pudding. You've got to be willing to create what you want to see in this world. You and you alone have the power to do that. Love always, Cashmere, Beauty Bakery CEO and founder. And I love that message. I love it. She is absolutely right. Absolutely right. So I thought this look turned out really nice. This is a great palette for me for work. I love it. Went on very easy. I had minimal fallout. The only time that I really had any fallout was when I put that shimmer, that darker shimmer, in my outer corner. And that's because I had really packed it on the brush. So This palette retails for $38 on the Beauty Bakery website. And I love that it does not have a mirror in it. Very nice. We also have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Brush. Dual Ended Angle Brush. It doesn't say it's a brow brush, but it has the brow, the, you know, the brush. <laughs> the hoo-ha thingy on the end of it. 
And it has the angled brush, which most people would use this as a brow brush. I don't typically use brow brushes, and I wanted to use this brush. So we are going to use it with this beautiful Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Boy Collector. That's me. That's right. I'm a boy collector. Can you tell? This lipstick actually went on fairly easy. I did make a couple of mistakes. But not as many as I normally do when I attempt to put on a liquid lipstick. I like the doe foot on it. It did help apply it easily. But I normally will always take one of these little angle brushes just to... Get my lines even, straightened out, you know, clean up the little mistakes and stuff. And so this little brush worked very well for that purpose. And I do like this lipstick. The only thing that I wish it would do is dry down. And it does not. Here's the thing that I've noticed when I wear this type of lipstick, because I'm not used to wearing lipstick. <laughs> I will end up touching my mouth, and I go in the bathroom, and I've got a fingerprint of lipstick on my cheek. Nobody tells me, because, you know, they think that's funny. But that's why I would prefer if the lipsticks dry down. So those are all of the items in my BoxyCharm base box for the month of February. And it has a total value of $126. I subscribe to Boxy Base Box for six months, so my boxes come to $30.04. So I think that that's a really good bargain. And I really liked everything that I got in my box. This was a little odd. To get a brow brush with no brow product. But I'm not mad about it because it's Anastasia. And they normally have really good brushes. Along with that. I have already gotten my Mega Drop Shop order. Which is... What? I mean, normally it takes weeks to get that but I've already gotten it so let me quickly show you what I got in my little mega drop shop haul I haven't done one of those in a minute I got this JVN hair products I have been wanting to try his hair products I love him this is Jonathan Van Ness if you don't know who he is I will link his channel down below because he's phenomenal so I was surprised to see this in the Mega Drop Shop. And these are not in here because they're in my shower. I actually use them. Look at how shiny my hair is. I do notice, though, that the next day my hair seems a little bit more oily than normal. But I'm, I'm playing around with that to see what happens. So I got the Embody Daily Volumizing Conditioner. And this is the Undamaged Strengthening Shampoo. And I got these for $11 each. And I think they're like $26, something like that. So that was a steal. These have hemisqualine in them. And they're clean. They're silicone clean, sulfate free, silicone clean, silicone free, sulfate free, color safe. And they're vegan, and I believe that he is, is he cruelty free? The packaging doesn't say, but, and they have a 12-month shelf life. So, I'm excited about those. And then, I love the concept of dry shampoo, but I have not been able to find, <laughs> did you see Sneaks just walk by the door? Say hi to Sneaks in the comments. <clears throat> I love the concept of a dry shampoo, but... I have not been able to find a dry shampoo that works for me. I don't like that white cast. I don't like how it makes my hair feel. I just don't like it. So they had this r and Co. Dry Shampoo Paste. It's not supposed to do all of that that I just talked about, but it's 
Very odd. It is a paste for sure. So that will be interesting. I will report back on how that works. And if you know of a dry shampoo that doesn't do all the things that I don't like, let me know down in the comments what that is. I also got these two Dose of Colors lip liner pencils because, you know, I need that like I need a hole in my head. This is Upbeat, which is a cute name for that. And the other one is Hot Ticket. I think I got both. They were they came as a duo, and I think I paid like $6 for those. And then I got this About Face Painted Lip Color. It is a matte lip color. I have always wanted to try one of these. I've watched many videos and some people love it and some people hate it so i wanted to try and see look at that color oh that is so pretty it smells good too so let's see if that dries down between now and the time that i'm done with this video and i don't remember what i paid for that and then I got another, another, I didn't know I was getting that one, but an, another Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Catwalk Killer. And I got this because I had never tried one of these. That's really pretty. And Ash from Makeup and Chaos talks about how much they love this formula that's really pretty so I wanted to try it but I was hoping it would dry down and it's not drying down but that's really pretty I like that shade and then I got this persona Laguna highlighter this is one of their Cali glow highlighters and I think I got this super cheap, too. I love Persona Cosmetics. They have really good products. It's very pretty. And I don't have any highlighter on. See, it's just a soft... Very soft. I like that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's put some on my nose. Look at me beaming. I love it. Very pretty color. I like that. And I got I got one of the refreshments breezy deodorants because they sent me one. I don't remember whether I got it in a boxy charm or in an ipsy. And I was using it, and it's supposed to be clean. And it was not irritating me. So I ordered this one, and while I was waiting for this one to come in, the other one started irritating me. So now I'm irritated even more. Because I ordered, ordered this, and I can't use it. But I'm playing around with the other one and trying to alternate. Like, maybe if I don't use it every single day... I have, I'm also using a Capari deodorant, which seems to be fine. So if I alternate days with those, the refreshments doesn't seem to be irritating. But this smells really good. It's Lavender Splash, and it has a little cover on it, and I haven't touched it. We'll see if... If the other one does not stop irritating me, then I may put this in your giveaway box. And the last item that I got I'm super excited about because I have been looking at this Violet Voss Taupe Notch 20 color eyeshadow palette for quite some time. And I finally decided to pull the trigger on it. And I'm glad I did because it is actually very pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. 
it's a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. I mean, there's some warm shades in there, but it, it seems to be a very cool-toned palette, and I love cool-toned eyeshadows or products in general. I just prefer the cooler tone, so... I'm super excited that I got that. I can't wait to use it. It's a nice, heavy palette. Very nice. So I'm stoked about that. That's my Mega Drop Shop, little Mega Drop Shop haul. That's all I ordered. I have not really been ordering anything from the Mega Drop Shop, mostly because it just wasn't anything in there that excited me. So that... It's drying down pretty good. It's going to dry down all the way. That is a really pretty shade. I like it. So Thanks for hanging out with me and watching me use all of the products from out of my BoxyCharm base box for the month of February. If you enjoyed my video and you are not already subscribed, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you, that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.